In this lesson, you're going to learn the difference between on time and in time. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about the difference between on time and in time. I know this confuses a lot of students, but don't worry, by the end of this lesson, you'll feel really confident using both. Let's start off with on time. Now, we use on time to refer to a specific time, and it's a specific time that something will happen. And we commonly use this with scheduled events. For example, Traffic was terrible, but thankfully I got to the meeting on time. So of course you can imagine that there's a scheduled time that that meeting will start. The meeting will start at, let's say, three o'clock. So if you get to the meeting at three o'clock or before, then you're on time. If you get to the meeting at 3.01 or after, then you're what? You're late, right? So that would be the opposite of on time, late. Now, you could also make a general statement and say, I'm always on time. So notice it's in the present simple because it's a routine action, which means I always get to my scheduled events on or before or the time they're supposed to start, the time they're scheduled to start. I'm always on time. So what about you? Are you always on time? Let us know in the comments. And if not, what adverb would you use? I'm sometimes on time, I'm usually on time, I'm rarely on time, or I'm never on time. So let us know in the comments which one best describes you. Now let's talk about in time. In time simply means that you have sufficient time. So you can think of it as to have enough time, enough time to do something, to do what you want to do or to do what you need to do. But the real difference that you need to keep in mind is that there isn't a scheduled start time, okay? So let's imagine, let's imagine that I need to buy some eggs, okay? Because I'm going to make a cake. So I need to buy some eggs. Now, it will take me 15 minutes to drive to the store and then five minutes to get my eggs. So, the amount of time I need is 20 minutes. Now, let's say that the store closes in 25 minutes. So, I don't have a lot of time, right? But remember, there isn't a scheduled time that I need to get to the store. I don't have an appointment at the store to buy eggs, right? So that's the thing, there isn't a scheduled time. But I need a sufficient amount of time to buy my eggs before the store closes. So maybe I could say, oh no, I'm not going to get there in time. I'm not going to get there in time. Because remember, I need 20 minutes to complete this task, but the store closes in 25 minutes. Of course, it's going to might take me a little bit longer, right? So I might be concerned. Oh no, I'm not going to get there in time. It's like saying, I don't have enough time to do what I want to do. But let's say, thankfully, there was no traffic at all and I got there in 15 minutes. Then I could say, whew, I got here in time. I got here in time. It's not on time because there isn't a scheduled event. It's in time simply because it means I have enough time, sufficient time to do what I need to do. Buy eggs before the store closes. 
So it's a very subtle difference, right? And I think the easiest way for you to know which one should I use is just remember on time is for a scheduled event. If you have a meeting that starts at a scheduled time, an appointment, a class, anything like that, then you would use on time. And if you're just talking about having enough time, sufficient time, then you use in time. The best way to feel confident with these is really to practice. So I want you to leave two examples for each. Two examples for on time and two examples for in time. Put them in the comments below and that way I can review them and if I see any mistakes then I can correct them and address them. So now you know the difference between on time and in time. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and of course subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website j4senglish.com and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. Awesome job. Now you know how to use both on time and in time and you're not confused anymore, right? Of course, after you practice them, you'll feel really confident. So I can't wait to read your examples in the comments and I'll see you next time. Make sure you're on time for my video because remember, I post it at 12 o'clock, so it's a scheduled time. Make sure you're on time. Bye.